going on everybody? It's me, Andre, and today I will be doing a review for the Jada Toys Street Fighter 2, the final challengers, M. Bison. Heck yeah, so happy to finally get this guy in the collection. This will be my fifth figure that I'm doing a review for for the Street Fighter line. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, I will start off showing you the box first, then we'll get to the figure. So uh, just like the other figures, it comes in like an arcade-like style box, which is really cool. I mean, that's how this line got famous because it is an arcade game. So up front, you have M. Bison, a picture of M. Bison. Uh, you have the joystick and controls right there, buttons down there. Uh, at the very top, you have uh, like the energy bar for your fighters. You have the points. You have player one, player two pretty cool and most importantly you have the figure itself so we have M. Bison right there looking tough looking mean looking brutal uh, we have an extra head right there that's the mean mu mean mug looking head we got the you know just the default head we have uh, a purple punching effect down there we have two extra pairs of hands and it looks like we have two extra shoulder plates down there I believe that's for like when you have uh, his cape off, I'm not too sure. I could be wrong, but I will find out eventually. Um, on the side of the package, on one of the sides, you have uh, just a picture of various other fighters right there. On the other side, it's a little different from the other ones we previously got because we have um, like a bile, a little, a little tiny bile for M. Bison. Um, you got uh, what four different languages right there. So that's pretty cool. I wish they would have done that for every figure in the line, but they're just starting to do this with the recent ones. But yeah, um, extra fighters right there on the side. And on the back, we have a product shot of M. Bison right there. And we have the player selection screen. I can't wait to get them all except the variants. I don't really need that the variants, but all the regular ones I do want. So yeah, let's go ahead and crack this thing open and let's see what this is about. Well, here he is in all of his glory. We have M. Bison. Um, he will fall at any second. He is very, very tough to stand, and I will show you why. But uh, and uh, his cape is a little wonky too. Uh, it's kind of hard to uh, pose as well. But uh, I am very happy with him, though. Uh, I will figure out a better pose than I have him in right now. So yeah, let's go ahead and like let's start discussing him. Let's get to the accessories. So I'm gonna stop this right quick. Move this out the way. So we got M. Bison right here. Watch him fall. Oh, wow. He ain't going to fall now. Wow. All right. So to start this thing off, we do have an accessory. This is his little punching accessory right here. So pretty nice. Pretty simple. So you just put on his hand. It goes on really easy. So just put it in like that. Yeah. There we go. So there. Got that accessory down. Like, I'll, I'll do a little bit better. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. This is the best I can do for right now. All right, so we got that little accessory pretty good. It's just like a little soft plastic material, so pretty good. All right, put it back right there. He's going to fall. Oh, wow, he didn't fall. All right, also, we do have an extra head. This is his mean face right here. So, see that? Comparisons between the two. So they do uh, switch out pretty easy. Just pop this thing off, comes off really easy. And you just put that on there. Not too, not too bad, not too bad at all. That's one thing about Jada Toys is just swapping parts is really easy. Also, he does come with two extra pairs of hands. We got these right here, like grasping for something. I don't know what you would call these, but these are pretty good. Um, they do switch out easy as well. Just pop that off, bang, and get the right hand for that, and pop that in there. Pretty good. All right, and the last thing he does come with, he comes with two extra shoulder uh, plates right here. Now, you do get uh, some uh, instructions how to do it. So here it is if you want to read that, but it's pretty easy. You kind of want to hold the front down and just pop it from the back. So I will show you that right now. 
So here are the shoulder plates right here. And uh, I'll show you how to do it. So here we go. So what I do is hold it from the, t uh, the front and you want to lift from the back. So pretty easy. Hold it from the front and lift it from the back. Comes off really easy once you did that, get that. So you want to match up the right shoulder plates. So now you want to snap it from the first, from the uh, front of it and then push it down. Easy, same thing. Clasp it, I guess clasp it's the right word. Clasp it on the front and push it down on the back. And there you have it. You have his other shoulder plates on it without the cape. So it looks really cool. This is actually how I might uh, display him without the cape. I think it looks pretty good like that. So let's go ahead and get to the articulation of this. So articulating this thing is really easy, just like the other ones. Uh, he does have a butterfly joint on both arms. He does have a, a bicep cut up, up top right there. He is double jointed at the elbows and oh, that, that came off right there. Ah, double jointed at the elbows, as you can see. Pretty good. Uh, the wrists do move whatever way you want to do it. You know, just it's, it's basic, you know, just like the other ones. Really good. We do have that ab crunch and he can turn at the waist. Uh, I'm always impressed by the neck joint. It's just so smooth like butter. I love this. Um, you can make him look any way you want to. So I, I love the, uh, just the, smoothness, the smoothness of the neck joint. Um, we also have a cut at the thigh. And he is double jointed at the, uh, at the knee. He, he does kick his own butt as you can see. Now, when you do bend his knees, um, this is red right there. That is kind of an eyesore right there. But, you know, not many people would know this, this but it would be cool if they would have, like, painted that a different color. Um, on the back, it is red over the black boots. Um, he does have ankle pivot. And his feet do move up and down. It is a little stiff though, um, but it does move up and down. So we got that. And it, it's hard to move it up because, just because of this plate right here. So you can't really move it up too much. But yeah, um, that is bison right there. Uh, I love the texture of this. You can actually see just the texturing. So I love that it feels really good. So yeah, um, it does come with that little soft skirt right there, soft rubber skirt. So yeah. Pretty cool. I love it. Um, yeah, I would uh, definitely uh, advise you to get this if you are a Street Fighter fan. And yeah, I can't wait to get more of these. Thank you all for watching and peace. Oh my gosh. See, he cannot stand.